How you doing, Chris? What's up? Hey. What's up, Daves? Yeah, welcome back to the PAA podcast. Yeah, whiskey and women. Whiskey and women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Confederate Railroad, baby. Uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not really either, but yeah. I, I kind of like them now just because uh, Sherman uh, has such a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never saw Sherman Ray as such a snowflake. I don't know. I, oh, wait, I just said something that was totally racist right there. Was God. it? Yeah. Well, I mean, because Sherman's black and I just called him a snowflake. I mean, that... Is that is that is that racist? No. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> for for context, uh, Rob Lauer, who writes for Three Hundred and Sixty Las Vegas News, um, is a news site, quote right. unquote. Yeah, uh, news. <laughs> yeah, he um, he wrote an article. He writes a lot of articles about the county, but he wrote one about Sherman. I guess there's an event coming up, right? And uh, it's put on by some folks that sell CBD oil or CBD products. Mm-hmm. They wanted to get the Clark County Republican Party involved. It's got a bunch of hip hop and no, I'm sorry, country and hick hop acts. Okay. So Steve Earle, the country singer, said that hick hop is rap music for white people that are afraid of black people. Oh wow. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, I mean, it, it's it's not good. You know, a lot of hand claps and okay. and like talk talk rapping instead of singing. You know, just kind of talking with a accent there's oh, there's wow. some artists out there that i've listened to and they're they're god awful okay um but yeah it's it's less offensive rap music you now maybe right. rap, rapping about jesus or just talking about jesus with a southern accent yeah but sherman didn't want to get involved with it number one because of the cbd angle because he doesn't understand that cbd is the non non psychoreactive yeah. component of uh, cannabis it's medicine and yeah. i mean even if it was a a, a THC based uh, event. It's legal here in this oh, state. I, I mean, if if Jack Daniels wants to sponsor a Republican Party event, is that they going to say no? Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to say yes. If Willie Nelson wanted to sponsor an event and bring his weed, it would be yep. not a problem. Yeah. But I'll, I'll smoke with him. Sherman wasn't wasn't. Yeah. You know what? I'd have to go right off the wagon. For yeah. That and yeah. Uh, yeah. And just have to explain to the boss. Well, I had to get high with Willie, and they'd be like, "Oh, okay." And then, like, I'd get a photo or something. Uh, so Sherman didn't want to get involved because of that. And then the headline act is a group called Confederate Railroad. Right. Uh, country band that's been around literally like 30, 40 30, years. 30, yeah, yeah, some odd long years. time. I remember, you know, when I was a teenager knowing of them. Right. It's an unfortunate name because 30 years ago, uh, the word Confederate and Confederacy wasn't uh, associated with slavery and the Civil War, but now it is. I'm being right. facetious. Uh, obviously, it's always... I, I yeah, am on Sherman's yeah. side, and it bugs the shit out of me that I'm on Sherman's side. See, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't, well, we I don't care. Where are you from? Well, I, You've I, lived out in Utah and yeah, Las I mean, Vegas. I lived, I lived, yeah, I lived in the West my whole life. So I'm from Virginia. It's a little okay. closer to me. I've, sure, I've lived sure. on. I've, I've lived and, and walked across actual battlefields. Mm-hmm. I, I've lived and worked with rednecks that drive around with their trucks with the Confederate flag is something that Sherman brought up is you don't see it out here, but it's everywhere down there. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to really hammer home the fact that the South lost. Uh, We know. (laughs) And, and, Uh, uh, you know, the the whole country has been reminding the South that they lost for 150 years. And there's a lot of arguments that like most Southerners weren't slave owners obviously no and it, it's like some tiny percentage two three yeah. percent something like that and the war of northern aggression was based on them asserting a force that they didn't actually have the legal right to assert we had the right to secede they had the right to secede pardon me and uh and the north had Chris, no right to come down chris's, chris's southern roots come out right yeah, there yeah uh i don't support Slavery. I don't think that was a good thing. I'm 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 a Lafayetteist. I'm a Fayetteist. Uh, anybody that's familiar with uh, Gilbert Lafayette, he was one of the generals in the mm-hmm. Revolution. Tried to explain to his adopted father George Washington how you could run a plantation without slaves, and actually did it. He actually mm-hmm. went and opened his own plantation in Africa with paid labor rather than slave labor. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, if you want to get into that, uh, slavery was going to be economically unfeasible in 20 years anyway. Right. It was already headed that direction. It didn't need a war in order to make it stop. Correct. But we had the, re- the rest of the world. It was, you know, the rest of the civilized world, I should say, because I mean, shit, there's still plenty of countries in the world where slavery exists and is still goes well, on right now. Yeah. 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 You know, Africans enslaving Libya, other Africans, yep. uh, Middle East, yep. uh, Asia, you know, that, that, it goes on. So. Yeah. There's a lot of folks living in a, uh, yeah, forced service. But, but in a, uh, you know, in a developing, um, developing country headed towards industrialization, 
you know, slavery was not going to survive. Right. But another 20 years, I mean, not another day. If, sure. I mean, if you were a slave or yeah. a family no, of a slave, you know, not, not one more day. Let's, let's get the guns and get it going. But yeah, I mean, it's a weird name for a band, Confederate Railroad. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know what they represent. I know that uh, one of their, one of their hits that was mentioned in Rob Lauer's article was "Whiskey and Girls," and uh, yeah. Rob's such a bad writer. See, that's a problem I have too. Rob contacted me and asked me to write for his website, and I thought about it. I was very flattered because I enjoy writing, mm-hmm. and and for someone to notice it and then to offer me a spot on their website for a moment, I was like. I wonder how many readers he really has, because I don't really look at my stats, but yeah. I, I could be on equal footing as Juggalo Patriot. Who knows? With him, right? And I've I've got I've got editorial license. I can do whatever I want. When yeah. I make a mistake on a, a post, I can go change it. For instance, I put that I hate Sherman Ray. I don't, but I wrote that. I was very tired. I went mm-hmm. back and I said I have very little respect for Sherman Ray. There I had go. to go back and edit that, and I don't know if I can trust Rob to to do that for me. So I. I feel like, uh, you know, I was really flattered by the offer, and then I was like, I think I would be doing Juggalo Patriot readers a disservice by <laughs> joining Rob's news organization. But I agreed with Sherman. Uh, Rob is a terrible writer. He is he, really, really bad. Yeah. I hate I hate it when people post his shit, even when he does have, like, a semi-valid point. Yeah. Because I know that the quality of the writing is going to be so poor, it's... Co- completely going to get lost. It undermines you're gonna, the message. Yeah, you're going to completely lose any any validity that it, it might have had simply because it's so poorly delivered. Yeah. So one of their hits is Whiskey and Girls. And whiskey in and honor girls. of that, we've got... Actually, the, Whiskey whis- and Women. Whiskey and Women. Is the whiskey proper and name. Girls is yeah. what... Yeah. <laughs> that, it was referred to improperly, but the, the proper name of the song is Whiskey and Women. Right. Uh, not even one of their big hits, I don't think. No, it's not. It's on like their new album, and it's not even one oh. of the the big ones. Yeah, I, I tried to listen to a couple of their songs. I uh, it wasn't wasn't my speed, but mm-hmm. um, yeah. Um, so I'm not into women anymore as Juggalo right. Patriot, as Chris Dyer still yeah. Yeah. love, J- love JP, my wife very yeah. much. But JP. Juggalo Patriot found a man. So not into the women, but the whiskey part. What are we? Uh, right. What are we messing with? So today? all right, uh, I opened a new bottle. Actually, I've never oh, tried this one. Goodness. So this is a uh, McAllen. Uh, I don't remember the specifics. It's like special reserve or something. State reserve. State reserve. A classic style Macallan of great richness and intensity. Yeah. Highland single malt scotch whiskey. This is not one you can buy in the States, actually. Product Um, of Scotland. Yeah. I I found this. uh, I was either on a cruise ship or at a duty free somewhere out of the country, and they happened to have it, and I thought it looked really good, so I grabbed it. Nice. So, all right. Cheers. Salute. Enjoy. It's a sipper. Nice. Oh yeah, that's really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> yeah, I sit so. there and let it do all the things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, let it soak in. I've started drinking <clears throat> my. Sorry. Um, I have some something called eighteen hundred. It's a Canadian whiskey. Um, I like the bottle. My wife saw okay. the saw the bottle somewhere, <clears throat> and, and I have that. And then I, I've been drinking my proper twelve. So yeah, I might have to expand my my whiskey the knowledge whiskey selection a little bit. Yeah, because I've actually been drinking it. So I might actually finish off a bottle eventually and uh, yeah, go experiment a little bit. Yeah, the next yeah. time, not go get a bottle of proper twelve, get mm-hmm. something different, and yeah, maybe I'll bring it over with me, yeah, whatever cool. I get. I'll well, have to check yours and then make sure I don't uh, duplicate. Oh, do, it. No, no, feel free, duplicate away. Yeah. Um, I went, so yeah, I was, I was going to say you've uh, you've been traveling about quite busy a bit this week, busy ass week. I don't remember what what was uh, okay. Probably didn't do anything Monday, Tuesday. Was the well? Was there anything over the weekend? Because we, I mean, we we podcasted on Friday. We did, and then so I don't remember if there's anything that happened over the weekend. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I didn't do anything on the weekend because I went to the chiropractor, my, my doctor Spencer oh. Eaton, and I slept trip, all trip weekend. number two to the chiropractor. Today was trip number two. Oh, okay. Trip number one was last week, and and uh, I stayed like I just kind of laid around and just got to feeling better. Like oh. it was amazing. That's good. Yeah. So, um, all right, so fast forward to Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. Clark E-board County, meeting. I Clark got a, County Republican Party e- Executive Board meeting. I got a heads up that there was an executive board meeting, and I was excited because it, it, it everything that we do in the party pretty much lines up with when I go to work. I have to be at work at 9. Mm-hmm. I might have been a little late on Tuesday but because uh, the meeting ran right till 9. But, yeah, I got to just get up a little early and, and go to an e-board meeting finally. Um, all the usual characters were there. Tiffany Fung, uh, I spoke to Linda Cannon. Mm-hmm. I got to figure out where she's from because she has a slight southern she, accent. She does have a southern accent. It's like uh, you know maybe uh, 
It, it, it does. It sounds a little Virginia, maybe. Yeah, a little Tennessee, maybe. maybe. I, I, yeah, 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 Kentucky, yeah. Tennessee. It could be. Yeah, I got to get in there yeah. and, and ask her because I keep mm-hmm. forgetting to ask. And I was actually nice enough to. Uh, she uh, extended her hand. She spoke to me a little bit more. I mean, it's a small room, and there's a few less people in there, so it's a little more effective when you come and speak to me. I was wondering, like, why is she being so nice to me? But uh, I didn't shake her hand. I wasn't feeling well, and I, I told her, oh, I'm not, I'm not feeling well. And she had the same thing. I guess out here when the weather turned mm-hmm. uh, cold for a day. Yeah, everybody uh, gets sick. Everybody. Yeah. It wrecked fools, man. Mm-hmm. There's sinuses, everything. She was saying that... Uh, she oh, had I got, it too. I got, like, it's not bad, but I got a little something going on in my chest. The crud? <coughs> yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a lot of that. You it's know? crazy, yeah. And she had it going on too. Like, I guess her face was a little puffy. That's why she had the big glasses on in the interviews. Ah, okay. It was because she was going, coming down with something too. But yeah, no no handshaking for, for these folks. But I tried to set up my, my rig that I use right here, the... Uh, uh, the, the iPad uh, the, and the tripod the podcast recording video recording rig. Yeah. Cause I can, I can pretty much go live anywhere now with Periscope. I, I uh, don't have internet on this thing, but I do on my phone. So I put it on the hotspot mm-hmm. and uh, I was ready to go, man. I was, I was sitting there getting ready to put that thing on. And then I saw Sherman over in the corner. He was talking to Tiffany and, and Lynn Armanino. I looked up Armanino. I thought it was Italian, but I think it's Spanish. Yeah. Okay. It means weapon boy. Wow. Yeah. Arma. Armanino. Nino, boy. Nino, boy. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's interesting. Uh, simple breakdown. Okay. So, so he. Uh, by, by the way, speaking of your video rig, I just wanted to point this out. I know the the weird thing with the camera where it sort of zooms in, but on the actual display, it's full full width because it's catching all of us. Oh, because that's what the the viewers are actually watching. Look at that. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, a little effect of periscope. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So I don't have to lean in. So no, much. no, no. You're good. Good. Um, so he. He saw me and he pointed at me and he wish it, wish it, wish it, wish, you know, uh, I know Sherman doesn't like me. I've been, he's, he's a dumbass. He's been engaging with me on, uh, Twitter and stuff like that. You should, I know <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to that. It wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> Sajdak who told me not to record. It was, no. it was Lynn Armanino yep. at the be- at the behest of the, uh, the armor boy. Yeah. The, the, uh, the weapon boy came over weapon to tell me. Over. Hey, hey, Chris, we're we're uh, we're not going to allow uh, video recording of the meeting. And I said, okay, uh, yeah. I got to get one of my kids to be a lawyer or something, so they can <laughs> so I can just go oh, talk to my lawyer. Yeah, and and uh, you know, See, my, my my kid doesn't put up with that shit at all. She she gets like. If somebody like uh, tries to challenge dad, she's, uh-huh. she's like up in it. I need that. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, I'll have that. They're they're all coming up to that point. But I just I put it away and I started the audio thing on my iPad and I put it down and then I noticed my phone was getting a little low so I went out to go get my backup battery and I came back in and Gene Jorgensen and Mike Colian were chatting with one another and Gene I don't know if Gene ha- might have one of those issues where he can't control his volume but he goes he went and got his recording device and I turned around and I go it's just a backup battery dude like relax yeah. recording device is over on the floor <laughs> 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 already recording uh. but um, yeah, then Dave, when he started the meeting and, and uh, he said, uh, everybody put your phones away. We won't be allowing videotaping of the, the meeting. Now, uh, the, the thing at the eboard meeting is only eboard members are allowed to speak. If you're there as a guest or you're Correct. there to watch, you sit on the edges and which, you don't chime in unless asked. Well, which actually is, uh, that, that's a new thing. It, it, it's always been the policy. Yeah. Officially speaking, that's always been the policy. Trying to run an efficient but, meeting. We don't need all the peanut gallery. Dave used in. to allow all kinds of other people. When I was on the board, anybody that wanted to speak got to speak. Hmm. And I would point out, hey, look, you know, the only people that are supposed to actually have speaking rights at this thing are voting members or, you know, members of the board, not necessarily voting, but right. people that are actually members of the board. Anybody that, uh, you know, wants to speak that's not has to have the, you know, the indulgence of the board in order to do so. Correct. So, For instance, they were talking about uh, voter uh, voter advantage, and they were saying that the state wouldn't allow them to use their account. Well, it turns out there was a state representative right there, mm-hmm. Joe Weaver. Right. And he was able to go, yep, you can use it. So, yeah. you know, that was, that was an easy fix. Joe was allowed to speak. Uh, mm-hmm. I did not want to speak, and I did not want to argue or fight with these people. Uh, I figured it would be a fight that could be fought later, as long as I could have audio of them saying that. So mm-hmm. I do, and uh, I well, imagine that it was the, the, the world has audio now. Yeah, it's on our on our YouTube channel, and mm-hmm. I, I I imagine that there could be. I, I want to. I hope that there was a conversation about 
okay, well, now we've got to charge him with wiretapping or something. Right. I mean, I, I went ahead and I, posted. I think they're smart enough that you, to do know. You, yeah, I Do think you so. think just for a second they thought? Oh, I think oh, they thought thought about it for a minute. He until, surreptitiously recorded us, and right. is there any way we can mm-hmm. do something about that? The, um, they, they brought up at the meeting, Mark Riggins brought up, uh, he wants ethics, the ethics committee to... I always think this stuff is about me, and then I've, I've spoken to a couple of people, like uh, Christopher. It was, it was, how's he, how do you say his last name? Hisgen. 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 Okay. Yeah. And and uh, and Sarah uh, Weston, and they're like, oh yeah, that's about me. I'm like, yeah, okay, fair enough. And you know, like every everybody thinks it's oh, about it's probably me. about me too. Right? It's probably about Rob, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, uh, they want they want to go to ethics about uh, we're not allowed to question the motives or character of a member of the party or so like how the hell are you going to enforce that <laughs> it's we are not a first amendment organization so i guess if apparently that, not if ethics can go in and and look into if something questioning that you said if questioning someone's character if questioning what they have done is, is not allowed yeah. that, what 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 recourse is there i don't know why we're there yeah what's the point <laughs> We're I mean, just that, there that to get that, Republicans that the, elected and that, not call that, each other out. That is the nature of politics. It, you know, you are you are going to look at, at character. It, it's important. You could literally at this point send some Democrats over. If the Democratic Party is listening and wants to have some fun, send about five Democrats over. Give them a couple of months, attractive, mm-hmm. uh, well spoken, and they will be in a position of power in no time, and no one will be able to question their motives or character. Nope. Those five Democrats will be running the Republican Party, and and they will, we won't be able to question them as long as they're registered as an R. Yep. It, it would take yeah a handful of spies to just completely sabotage our shit mm-hmm. because we'd be like, we have to be unified. They're Republican, and we would never be. They could just start passing you know resolutions that we support eating babies. Yes. Uh, whatever, and we would just be like, but they're a Republican, and they said that, and they're in charge. It's okay. Like it, it's Mark Riggins is a spineless. I, I don't. I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to bow to the things that people say to me, and you know, an ad hominem attack. But he's. I mean, he just has no guts. I don't. He brings all these resolutions forth, and. No, I just Mark, think he's Mark, doing it for Mark other has, people. Mark has stabbed me in the back multiple times. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that, that's not that's not an ad, ad hominem attack. You just won't let that's well, just I'd, simple fact. I want to call him a cunt, but I don't want to do that because people do that to me when they don't have a good argument. And but I mean, it's and cunts are cool, I guess, if you're into yeah. that sort of thing. So I don't want to. I'm dis- a fan. Yeah, I don't want to disparage cunts at all by by calling by calling Mark one. But yeah, I mean, he's 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 a. Uh, I don't know. He's just a fish. Like he just does what other people tell him to. He he brought forth a resolution that Eddie Facey had uh, given him. Eddie's not a voting member. He can't bring forth a resolution. He had to find someone mm-hmm. to to bring this resolution for him, and it was to censure the comments, not the chairman, but the comments of the chairman. And the wording, I guess, it was a a little wordy since Eddie wasn't there to help clarify things mm-hmm. or to, to clean it up that it just first they had to cl- they had to get Mark to they had to nail him to the wall like Jello. like is this your resolution well no it's Eddie's resolution and, and I'm just presenting it okay but you can't do that you have to present it as your resolution is this your resolution mm-hmm. yeah so okay, cool. We got that down. Uh, my, would, uh, well, I mean, you, you could say that I am presenting it on behalf of you know one of my constituents. I mean, yeah. he's a trustee. So if somebody in his you know ostensibly Eddie's not in his district, but ostensibly if somebody in his district wanted something brought up at the executive board meeting, they the the process is go to your elected trustee and say, hey, I would like to see that. Right. And that's what you would do. You could say, this was authored by, but I am presenting this. Mm-hmm. But it was hard to get him to just own presenting it. Huh. And, uh, yeah, when he finally did, then someone had an amendment. Uh, Sally Rhodes had a, Sally Minster had a, had a, an amendment to it. And, and then it just started right off into the weeds because everybody right. wanted to amend it to change the wording of it. And finally, someone smarter said, uh, let's just table it or withdraw it. And oh, who's the old guy with the? And you hear the audio of the thing. It's he's uh, got Bob, Bob Susie. 
Bob Susie just yeah he was like just withdraw it it's 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 in the past so uh-huh. it's in the past you guys yeah. the, the, all those weird comments that Sajdak made about the trash in the neighborhood the the trash people in the neighborhood and yeah. them <clears> just <throat> being thirsty that's all in the past we're moving I'm, on I'm, I'm sure they've forgotten all about it I yeah, yeah I'm sure it won't come up again because it's in the past uh, they had the rock that went through the the door the door <laughs> Linda's so cool she. <laughs> I came, I came over to try and take a picture of it without stupid Gene Jorgensen's arm in the way, and mm-hmm. it was still it wouldn't it didn't work. But uh, she goes, do you, "Do you like our rock?" And I, I said, "I do." But I said in the news footage, I thought it was like this big. It's only about this big. It's uh, about the about the size that a person with a decent sized hand could pick up with one hand and like really a, like a cantaloupe kind of size. Yeah, about yeah, the okay. size of a cantaloupe. Yeah, and you could you could see putting a cantaloupe through a window, oh, just, yeah. just chucking that fucker right through the glass. Mm-hmm. It yeah, must have easy. felt so good when I did that. I mean, when they did that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so they have it on a little pedestal and with a flag behind it. It's super cool. It, they owned it, and that's 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 fine. I'm okay with that. But. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the, uh, we talked about Paris Wade at the meeting too. He couldn't uh, he couldn't be bothered to show up. Apparently, Paris does not create content for the um, website. The website here, I didn't know if you knew this, Rob. I don't know if you're a computer guy at all, but I know I know nothing about technology. Good. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, David Sajdak was out of town. His father had passed away, and and uh, he had to drive. He had to fly to Chicago, I assume, from Puerto Vallarta, Vallarta, yeah, uh, and then drive from Chicago to Buffalo. In the rain, they don't operate flights from Chicago. No to planes Buffalo. between Chicago and Buffalo. Not two, a single two one. Two major cities, and and he had to drive. That's interesting. Because I I once flew from Chicago to uh, Syracuse, actually, just like a couple of months ago. And Syracuse yeah. is a much smaller town, and there's still planes that go back and forth. I think that like maybe Atlanta and Chicago are two towns that you could fly to the other side of the planet anywhere from. in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty Dallas much. too. Dallas yeah. too. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They any, any of those, yeah, New York, Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, LA, LA San Francisco, yeah, anywhere in the world you want to go. But I mean, you chi- can get there. Non-stop. Chicago is like the anus of flight in the United States. It when kind of shit is. goes wrong there. It, it goes yeah. wrong everywhere. That's true. It, it it and yeah, I hate flying through Chicago just yeah. because shit always goes bad. Right. I mean, you know how it is when like you you've sprained your butthole or something like that. Like nothing works right after that. And, and that's how like Chicago is. I don't mean to imply that Chicago you, you, is a you don't, butthole. You don't shit right. You don't shit right for a week. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden your mood's fucked. You can't, yeah, you can't yeah. walk well, like everything's wrong, but he couldn't get that flight. So he drove from Chicago to Buffalo and that, that's fine. But, um, he was tired and that's why he made the, the dodgy statements that he made. But, but since he was in transit, he wasn't able to get the passwords to um, was it Goldman Ben Goldman and some dude named Lawrence. I guess are running the website. Oh yeah, I have no I, idea they, who they is. just kept saying Lawrence. Um, Paris is not in charge of content. He is in charge of sending out email blasts, like the email blast that we never got Sarah before she can say it. The email blast that we never got about the about tax, tax increase. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that one. <laughs> you know, uh, another thing that I've noticed is that apparently, uh, although we're supposed to be paying somebody for like social media work, mm-hmm. um, the uh, county party hasn't posted on Twitter, not even like a retweet or anything. Nothing in like two and a half weeks. Yeah, because um, nothing's been going on. I mean, it's not like they should have been tweeting about anything that's been happening in politics in the last, you know. Oh, I put it. I, I did a play days. by play on the Facebook. I'm trying to think like what I did with the notes. Uh, it was on Facebook, so I put the yeah, money yeah. that we spent. We spent uh, $1,500 total, $750 up front, $750 when the product was delivered uh, for the website, and mm-hmm. then we spend 500 bucks a month for uh, the email messaging, the website uh, they're management. Getting, they're getting ripped off hard and light uh, social media. So right. okay, so light like once a month. Well, I don't know, like... Well, what's light? Because, I, I, I mean... I don't know again, if that I, means I, mean, like, I know I know nothing about technology, but, you know, I, I pay some people to do social media stuff for right. me. And uh, for about... Uh, I pay a little bit more than that. I pay about $700 a month for each of my websites. Okay. And I get about four posts a week. So what I imagine they meant... With, with a lot of content attached to that post. Yeah, of course. I imagined that what they meant by that was... I know you can set it where several people have access to the same Twitter account. Yeah. Uh, so that Sajdak or, as well. or Linda mm-hmm. could post it. And then whenever whenever the boys from uh, Paris and, and, and Ben's company 
find something interesting, they could also post it. So yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they would be committed to maybe four posts a month, but Dave and, and Linda could also post things to, to enjoy. Um, yes, they did send an anti-Trump tweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they retweeted an anti-Trump tweet. Right. Yeah. Um, well, they didn't, they, they thought that they were serving the, the, the greater good right. at and the time, right? The, the Twitter is privated, so you have to be, uh, yeah, you I, have I, to ask I mean, permission. I'm, I'm still in. And they've, they've blocked, like, uh, Stacey Grunwald. She's, yeah. she's not allowed on Well, it. I mean, Stacey's a pretty good troll, so she she's probably is giving her shit and yeah. stuff like that. She, but, yeah, she's awesome. Um, they haven't blocked me. Okay. And that's not saying that I want them to, because I enjoy reading their tweets, and I don't respond to them, but I do repost them as, uh, you know, like, uh, Searc County right. GOP. So that's Clark County, not Searc County. Yeah, I mean... The last thing, um, oh, wow, this is new. This is new. I, this is just from the other day. Oh, it is from yeah. September 28th. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. Is this? Oh, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no. This is you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this see, is Searc <laughs> County. It does say parody right there, it everyone. Does. That's, that's, it's, that's it's, the... Uh, that, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> oh, we do have cameras, right? That was you are, in my yeah. tweet. You... Uh, <laughs> You're, you're you're more uh, you're, I'm more active. You're more active. Look, then I, I searched for Clark County GOP. Yeah, I got you. I got Washington. Clark County Washington, and yeah. they're the third one. And I follow them. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> speaking of which, I should follow that. I should one. follow that one. Yeah, <laughs> C I A R K County GOP yep. is the parody account. That so the last thing that we did, uh, last thing they did, Clark was County September GOP. 18th. It was a retweet of Michelle Fiore, yeah. September eighteenth, and then a retweet of Nevada GOP on the eighteenth. That tweet 17. that they retweeted was a problem for me, too, because um, the, burning a flag is a First Amendment right. I don't necessarily approve. Well, no, no, no. It, this, was not, this wasn't a, like a flag burning thing. It, it was, I think, oh, uh, this was like a building was on fire I or misunderstood. something like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It okay, wasn't so he climbed the building like, yeah, at, he, at firemen risk and, of life and limb to right, rescue right. a flag that was in a burning building. What an yeah. asshole. Yeah, I thought. Well, no, 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 I mean, no. It wasn't. It wasn't like a First Amendment. We're going to burn a flag. Fuck and, you. and this guy got and, in there. You know, okay. No, no, it yeah. wasn't that. It was. Uh, I think the uh, building has a right to burn the there. flag, just like anybody else. But well, yeah, I mean, good for him. Buildings, right. buildings don't have rights. <laughs> Corporations do. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that meeting just kind of petered out at that point uh, after we had gone gone about the ethics stuff it, no, the normal people that would have been raising a stink uh, weren't there joe mcdonald was not feeling well it was, it was right after like i said that that wave of everybody gets 60 sick. degree weather came through and yeah. fucked everybody up so that was tuesday mm -hmm. um what what was wednesday it had to have been something on wednesday I can't remember. The Scott Pressler thing, right? Was that Wednesday? Wednesday or Thursday. I don't so remember. So, the, yeah, the MAGA event was um, <clears throat> at uh, the Stratosphere. They, they had originally booked it for, and this would have been great. It was right near my job at the Sierra Gold near my job. But it got too big, and they ended up booking it at Stratosphere at their Boulevard and Boulevard Tap House. Okay. Nice place. Uh, I had a, a lovely. Yeah, I haven't been. I've been to the Strat since they like redid the inside and stuff. Yeah, is yeah, it better? Been, they've been redoing the signs outside, yeah. and yeah, it's. I mean, I've never had a problem with the Stratosphere anyway. But I mean, eventually, every everybody's got to pop up old tiles and and replace them and yeah, put yeah. a fresh coat of paint on that shit. I mean, that's how casinos work. Yeah, they get old. You know, they start looking like the the Circus Circus. You got to get mm -hmm. in there and fix it. Nobody was going to want to go there. I heard. I heard uh, MGM just sold Circus Circus to uh, Phil Ruffin. Ah, I heard about that. That yeah. was a possibility. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's for sure, but that, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's good. I mean, so I, maybe maybe they'll actually do something. He's with done it. good things with Treasure Island. Yeah, right? no, it's a nice place. Yeah, mm. um, he he usually buys on the downswing, not on the not top of the market. Right, and but, he knows how to run a but, casino. But now we know something that we didn't know. So I heard that this. Uh, oh, that's something we should actually talk about. Okay, uh, I heard about the. Uh, the sale of of uh, Circus Circus about a week two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and then just a couple of days ago, MGM announces that they're reaching an eight hundred million eight hundred million dollar settlement with the uh, October one shooting survivors. Saw that, yeah. yeah. So I wonder if that was like a all right, we need some quick cash to clear up uh, a little, yeah, a keep little keep the books fresh, liquid. keep the books healthy, yeah, yeah. So uh, that that makes more sense now, and maybe he you know he was just a convenient buyer for a. Uh, 
you know, a shithole of a property. I mean, other than the steakhouse, you could tear that whole fucking place down. I don't care. Does slots of fun come with the deal? I don't know. I would, uh, I would I hope think so. so. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Probably, I mean, it's a good location yeah. as far as the convention center is, mm-hmm. and and oh, yeah, uh, it's convenient. They've got know. the amusement park there that mm-hmm. that uh, mm-hmm. does all right. Yeah, Adventure Dome. Yeah, but yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I could I, the, the the Adventure Dome's gross. I, I think it, it just it I don't feels like it. dirty. Yeah, um, it's sticky. The, yeah, but the steakhouse there is it's top notch. It's really solid. Really good steaks. So I went to the Scott Pressler event, mm-hmm. and I walked in, and it had, it wasn't even time for it to start, and the place was packed. Lots nice. of people that I've never seen before at any meetings or anything like that. So that's good. Drawing so, in. Important safety tip. If you want to do a Republican fundraiser or event or something like that, invite a high-profile gay Republican man. Yeah. Yeah? Um, All right. I didn't know who Scott was uh, until I, I started seeing a lot of people saying, why don't you come to our town, come right. to our town, come to our town. And he did say this is the biggest event he's done. Oh, that's cool. So you know, we, we've, we've set the bar for everybody else. But uh, Scott was uh, gays for Trump back during mm-hmm. the campaign. He's, he's worked... Uh, vigorously for the campaign and he also started cleaning up towns he's from northern virginia so he cleaned up baltimore him and his people mm-hmm. and then they went and cleaned up la um see and another thing about you know doing an event here uh, is i would think that the average republican here is probably a lot more open-minded uh, about that particular topic than it, like if you took the average point of view on that a Republican person in Nevada mm-hmm. is probably much more live and let live than a Republican person almost anywhere else. Sure, yeah. And he was here to teach about uh, registering voters. Okay. And he had a he had a mantra as he was speaking. I mean, he was walking the room. He was he's taller than most people, and he's got energy. Uh, you know, but not that exhausting energy where you're around him and you start to get tired. Like it's all him. It's self contained. Yeah, cool. He's amazing to be around. You actually feel more energized being around the guy. But he uh, he kept saying, like he would meet somebody. I, I met this guy, Rob Tyree, and the mm-hmm. first thing I said to him was, "Are you registered to vote at your current address?" And and this was like the, every one of the stories about somebody he met. And then he'd mm-hmm. say, "You know, I, I met these two Army veterans, and and do you know what the first thing I I said to him was?" And everybody goes, "Are you registered to vote at your current address?" He goes, "No." I said, "Thank you for your service." And then I said, "And you know, yeah. and, and, uh, <laughs> so I mean, he's, right, he's that's funny. He's funny. Yeah, yeah, he's he's amazing, and he's gorgeous, and uh, he doesn't like ladies. So uh, you know, got that going for me, which is nice. Um, <laughs> so I walked in and I saw Joe Weaver. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't tell you this. Uh, so the the NVGOP had tweeted on Tuesday a, a picture. Or no, Joe had tweeted and just just said at NVGOP they were indoctrinating a couple of yeah. a couple of uh, new volunteers or okay. a couple of new workers or cool. whatever. And the first thing my keen eye sees is that one of them is wearing a fake Trump hat, ah. fake MAGA hat. So I zoomed into it. I put the two pictures together. Mm-hmm. You know, here's the full, whole picture. Here's this, and I put it on Facebook. Not cool. Mm-hmm. And then I retweeted it and said, not cool. Right. And and uh, oh, so. Okay. Hang on, I'll keep keep talking. I'll okay. be right back. So I'm there at the meeting, and uh, Joe McDonald hits me up, and she says, "Hey, could you not break their balls about that?" And I was like, "Well, sure." Um, so have I said, uh, "Here, here's here's the deal. Here's the negotiation. Have Joe Weaver delete his tweet, his original tweet," and uh, she goes, "Done. It's gone." And then I said, uh, "Oh." That oh, yeah. is nice. Yeah, you like it? I do. Okay. And that's changing the hat. And look at the bill. See, show, yep. show the okay. bill on the inside. Oh, I, I, I pulled it off. I pulled the sticker no, no. off. But it's green. Oh, yeah, it is. That green. is the green bill. Green. This this right here, Cali Fame Headwear. That is the company mm-hmm. that makes Trump's hats. Yep. And so, that doesn't look like those corny right ass. There. Yeah. Yeah. I notice a lot of the hats have an American flag. The fake ones have an American flag on the outside. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that um, because you can put whatever flag and then make it wherever you want. Mm-hmm. But I, I then told Joe, okay, now, in order for me to take down the Facebook post, I need Joe, Mc, or Joe Weaver to look over at me, acknowledge my sweet Trump hat. I was the only one wearing a Trump yeah. hat at the meeting, and it was a legit hat. I said, give me the old two-finger salute. So he did. <laughs> he looked over, and he gave me the two-finger salute. Okay. Deleted all my, uh, my shitting on the, on the, count, the, the state party. Right. The state party is getting 
stuff for their people to wear. Yeah, no, I was going to say yeah. um, the the state party executive director. We you know we've been having talks, right? And they actually have access to official campaign merchandise, a limited selection, not not everything that you can buy, right? Um, or everything that we will have available at the table because it's all over there now. We're going to table now. We got it. Yeah, November. Got it. Yeah, yeah, Sweet. yeah. It's all, I'll show you. I'll show you after. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll advertise it on the podcast and stuff. Hell yeah. Um, but I, I do have another one of these. I have you know Ooh. the one that I bought for myself and one more. Right. So, uh, official, you know, Trump campaign Space Force <laughs> hat. It's my favorite. You know, it's I love it. Fucking awesome. It yeah. doesn't look no, like those badass. lumpy golf it's hats. Yeah. Like it's a yeah. it's a real baseball hat. Yep, yep. Um, so uh, in in addition to that, we'll uh, in addition to like the premium stuff, um, we should uh, have uh, the the campaign itself. Executive directors, state executive directors have access to um, get a lot of that. Same official campaign merchandise made by the same company, everything right uh, at no cost. Uh, the only caveat is that uh, we'll be giving it away for free. Okay, so we can't sell it. It can't be sold. It can't be resold. It can't be a fundraiser or anything like that. Oh. We'll just be giving it away. So we're gonna have some hats that can be given away. Yep. Can we raffle them somehow? I mean, like uh, uh, I have a drawing for them, maybe. I, yeah, we can. We can definitely do a drawing. Uh, we can't charge anything for no, the no, drawing. No, no, no. Of course not. We could definitely. I mean, or you know, or we'll just get thirty or forty hats and give them to anybody who wants. Man, got it. We have them tweet at us. Oh, uh, yeah, we could do that. If you tweet at us, sign then you're yeah. in the drawing for. Yeah, follow us on Twitter. Um, uh, we could do, uh, you know, follow NVGOP on Twitter, uh, follow, yeah. you know, anything like well, that. Well, yeah. um, we can make a tweet that tags NVGOP and mm-hmm. our podcast. Yes. And then all you have to do is reply to that tweet. Yeah, I and like it. that is your entry into the yeah. free hat giveaway. That get that works. Fuck yeah. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll work on that tweet okay. as soon as we're done with this thing. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I, I got I to gotta run that by, uh, by Will. But Okay, yeah, yeah. do that. Because, okay. I mean, then we can get people following us and following them on Twitter. Yeah, we, and we can do some shirts and stuff too, he says. Sweet. So, yeah, it'll be awesome. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so we have the giveaway stuff and then we have the sellaway stuff. Yes. Yeah, all right, and if so. people are like, how do I get a free hat? You go, Reply to the tweet. Yep. And you'll be in the drawing for the free Get on hats. Twitter, get on Facebook. We'll, we'll do it on Facebook, too. That way the, the older folk that don't know how to tweet, they don't know the, tweet, the mm. tweeter. See, that's know? the whole point. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to exclude the older folk that, oh, okay. don't, that's that don't fuck with Twitter. Only uh, that's like fair. 85% of the country doesn't fuck with Twitter. So really? we're, we're looking for like a very specific... All right. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. And I don't know how we would get them to them if they're not there, though. They have to stick around. You got to yeah, stay for gotta, a whole you meeting. You got to come to the meeting. You got to yeah, stay exactly. for a whole meeting. Right, right. And then you can get a free hat. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, so, so we can give away free shit yep. at the end of the meeting. Awesome. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, I met Joe. Uh, Alita Benson was there. Um, I asked her if she liked her shout out in the Juggalo Patriot blog. Um, she kind of made a face. So uh, I don't think her husband, or I'm sorry, boyfriend appreciates her getting a shout out. I didn't uh-huh. say anything. Not Nothing near what I've ever said about uh, Tiffany Funk. Um, but yeah, I, um, I don't know. Not uh, if you read the blog, if you go to JuggaloPatriot.com, you can see why I won't be, I won't be talking about the ladies anymore. Yeah. Sorry, because I met uh, Scott Pressler, and if you see a picture of Scott, you're gonna understand that. Uh, yeah, I don't like them anymore. I don't like the women. I thought I thought it was uh, Scott and uh, Blake Gwynn. Blake is uh, now second. Yeah, they oh. could they could both get this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but Blake I, I, I think I think Blake prefers the ladies. So, That's fine. It's yeah. fine. I yeah, mean, but yeah. But, so I think you got a better shot with Scott. I'm, I'm only saying. gay when I'm writing my blog. Yeah. So it's, it's <laughs> you know, it's. I mean, if, if you catch me at the right hey, time for the right couple of hours, then... Chris and, and JP can both identify however they want. That's right. Nobody's going to judge. Right. That's, you know, that's that's the world we live in. Um, so, yeah, there were... There were uh, I, I got to meet Scott, spoke to him, and I uh, got a picture with him. And then I, I saw this lady had on way too much makeup and I asked somebody like who's that oh there was a guy that was getting his picture taken with or met Scott Pressler when I did and he said I want to help with the Trump campaign and uh Scott goes well there's a guy named Joe Weaver back there go find him yeah and I said stay right here I'll bring you to him Mm -hmm. so I went back there Joe wasn't around but Daniel Mendoza was okay I was like here talk to this dude so yeah I'm helping cool I'm not trying to hurt anything Uh, you know I, I brought that dude to the to the thing um this lady too much makeup so it seemed to me and then I asked somebody, who's that lady with all the makeup? I asked Mendoza, who, who's that lady uh-huh. with all the makeup, and uh, why does everybody want to get a picture with her? And he goes, I don't know. And then the dude that I just said I would introduce to Mendoza goes, oh, that's uh, Mindy Robinson. She's a B-movie actress. Oh, huh. okay. Like, okay, so I look her up. I have just purchased, there's a book by a, a guy named Matt Best. He's a former Army Ranger. He does a lot of stuff on YouTube and everything. And 
it, it, the name of the book was uh, "Thank You for My Service," and okay. I was like, "That's a funny take on the yeah. thank you for your service." Yeah, because right. uh, I don't really appreciate when people say that. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but I, I said, oh, "You know, screw it." I got extra points on my audio Audible. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll listen to the book. I haven't listened to the whole thing yet, but uh, Matt made a movie called Range Fifteen. It has a lot of famous people in it: William mm-hmm. Shatner, a bunch of MMA people, and Mindy. Wow. So I'm like, okay. All Interesting. Right, now I have to get a picture with Mindy. Yeah. So I stopped her when she was on her way out and she goes, God, I'm going to the bathroom. And I said, Oh, I'm sorry, you know, just real quick. And I and I took it real quick and she goes, That sucked. Do it again. <laughs> and and she like <laughs> fluffed her hair and like really leaned into me and everything mm-hmm. and, and uh, gotta make yeah. it look good. Yeah, she's like nice. prom, like a prom picture. And I was like, nice. Like this yeah. chick is she's like thirty nine years old, but the what was amazing, I, I told my wife, I said, uh, you know, look at this chick in the picture. Do you think that's too much makeup? And she's like, No. <laughs> I, saw, I was like, it's weird when I was looking at her, too much makeup. But then when you get in a picture, picture with her, it looks good. It looked great. Yeah. So I'm like, this chick really knows what she's doing. Like, yeah. obviously, she's an actress. She knows, like... Yeah, I mean, you know, my, my wife's a dancer, and when, when she's going to go on stage and dance, she's got a ton of makeup on. If you were looking at, you know, if you're It looks talking, ridiculous, right? It looks ridiculous, but when you see her on stage, it looks fantastic. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, she's obviously wearing stage makeup mm-hmm. all the time, and it looked really good in the yeah. picture. I was amazed. So, yeah, I mean, if you're into chicks, then Mindy Robinson and, uh, yeah, I tried to watch Range 15. It's free on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. Mm, okay. And uh, it is bad in, <laughs> in a good way. I mean, it's, it's comically bad. It was done that way on purpose. These okay. guys don't take things too seriously. All right. Might be the kind of movie I would watch. I fell asleep during it, which gave me weird dreams. I didn't get to watch the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, fell asleep. I hate when I do that. Yeah. Oh, and, and Tiffany came by and touched my arm and said hi. And uh, that, was, that was wild because... You gave yeah. me, she gave me like the Mormon brush, like uh, mm-hmm. Isabel told me about that. Like <laughs> when they check for your magic underwear, they, yeah, yeah. they, they the, kind of the, do the, the arm list. slide to yeah. look for the seam. So yeah, I don't know, she checked my. Maybe she was checking to see if I was LDS, but maybe. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I had a nice long conversation with Annie Black. Which was uh, fun. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you did. You told me a little bit about this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know. I was just talking to her because um, I was trying to tell her that, like, I know she's friends with Tiffany, and I was just trying to tell her, like, hey, I, I didn't mean to make Tiffany uncomfortable, you know. And she kind of, I don't think she wanted to hear it. Um, yeah. Whatever. But yeah, I, we, she asked me if I had kids, and I said, yeah, I got four kids, and you know, I didn't. I didn't know that she was a single mom. Uh, I, I tend to think that everybody is uh, better than me, I guess. And I don't want to say that I'm better than other people. Everybody has their situation that they go through, you know, the shit that happens or whatever. But, you know, like, I, you know, I can put myself out there. I've been married for 20 years. And you you, you just hit 26. You guys have been together? Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, Just just the other day. So, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a thing to hang your hat on that you're willing to commit to that sort of shit. And I don't know what happened with Annie and her old man, but yeah, she's up on the ski raising her, raising her two boys. I know dudes can be shit. So mm-hmm. I mean, I gave my I gave my one of my cousins uh, shit one time because she was t- talking about raising her three sons right and co-parenting, and I said, "You want to raise them right, teach them not to get divorced." Uh. And then she went offline and she actually used profanity, which she doesn't normally do. She went private message me and she said, "That guy is a fucking shithead," and I'm trying to give him some kind of credit for just showing up. Right. And I was like, "What? Oh. He's a fucking narcissist." Like he mm-hmm. and and you know he he and and, and like. All of a sudden, it all comes back. Like every time I've ever met him socially, I'm like, "Oh, I thought he was just weird." Yeah. No, he's not human. Like I don't know how she ended up with this dude, but now he's he don't do shit with the kids. He don't have anything to do with them, and she's probably better off for it. So I mean, if yeah, I mean, there there, there are certainly situations where you know having one parent out of the picture is preferable. Right, a little healthier. So yeah, if Annie's husband is a is a piece of shit, then you know, be gone with him. Uh, I like Annie. Just goes to prove, be you know, be. Very careful about who you have children with. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, sometimes people change. You never know. Yeah, that's like, true. Can be a chemical change or an injury or anything like that can alter your personality yeah. and, and change who you yeah, are. My, my brother had a head injury and has been not the same person since. He's f- fucking whacked. It's legit. Yeah, yeah I mean, the people have taken I mean, he, pharmaceuticals. He was, he was and, bad before and you know did way too many drugs, but then the head injury and he's yeah. like, he's off the fucking reservation. Sam Kinison got hit by a car when he was a kid, and that's what turned him into Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison? Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, didn't know that. It, uh, yeah, pharmaceuticals can alter your, uh, permanently alter your mind. There's, there's all kinds of things that oh, can yeah. happen. So. For sure. Yeah, I don't want to judge that, but I like Annie. Like, when I was standing there talking to her, I was like, she's cool enough. I don't know. She, she's personable. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I just think she's overly ambitious, and, you know, that, yeah. that's kind of her thing. Yeah, I guess. She's so. got a long time to figure and it out. Li- listening to the wrong people. 
Yeah. So I asked her if it's a pain in the ass driving down here all the time for all the shit because she was just at the e board meeting that I was mm-hmm. at. And she she said her folks have a place down here. She crashes. I was like, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah, because. That drive back and forth, man. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> like an hour and a half. Yeah, I said you could listen to podcasts, and she goes, I listen to music. I was like, <laughs> all right. Well, there's cool. one podcast you should listen I to. I know a couple of cool ones, yeah. but yeah. Uh, Jim that, that, Ron, that Ron Burgundy podcast is <laughs> fucking awesome. Is it? I haven't listened to oh, it. Oh, God, yeah, it's good. It's I'm really a, good. Yeah, I'm a big Sherman Ray fan, though. I, yeah. I listened to his. Uh, Jim Marchant was there. Okay. I saw Jim, and I was like pointing to people and saying yeah, to other I mean, people, like, you know, was that Jim Marchant? Like, Running run for CD4, so gotta right? do it. Gotta do the things. You ever seen that Frank Zappa guy? There's a guy that looks like Frank Zappa and shows up at stuff sometimes. I don't know. Oh, might, I think, if you saw I think, him. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. I don't either, and I wanted to ask people, but I don't think they know either. If you saw him, you'd be like, oh, that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah it's, it, I gotta get... I should have just had the balls to ask him for a picture. Yeah. Like, bro, what's your name? I see you at stuff all the time. Let me get a picture with you. But next time I see that dude, I'm going to get a picture get with a picture. him. Because yeah. I know he's I know he's going for a Frank Zappa thing. It's not an accident that mm-hmm. he has his facial hair and all that stuff that way. Um, oh, and I saw Patricia Messinger. She was there. Oh, good. Having a good time. Oh, good. She wearing was Chuck, she drunk? Chuck Taylor's. Um, she was... I don't know if drunk is her default, so I don't know. Like, yeah. uh, you know, she could she could I mean, be a I mean, functioning drunk. On the, you know, on the scale, you know, she seemed normal. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that might be drunk for her. Is so, all I'm saying. So, yeah. So she had had a few. Right. And that's like normal. That's like baseline. Yeah. And then because you, know, you go from there. Normal for me used to be stoned out of my gourd, uh, and you know where other people would be asleep on the couch. I was mm-hmm. just out functioning. Right. So yeah, I mean, you know, was was he stoned? I don't know. I don't know. He, he was out of the house and saying hello to people. So yeah, he's probably fucking lit. <laughs> but she was, yeah, she seemed normal. Uh, and Paris Wade, Paris Wade, Paris Wade was, was actually there. He was there. He was ah. filming. He was doing. I mean, he was all over the place. I got a few pictures of him and put them on Facebook. I was being a creeper because the dude couldn't show up to the e board meeting. Nobody from his company could. Right. Uh, I don't know how we hold these people accountable for the website and other shit when they won't even show up. I mean, I would say if they want to keep getting paid, this would be my. Yeah, you got to uh, be assertion. there. You got to be there. I'd like my board to be able to vet you. Right. Uh, we need to speak to you people. We have questions for you. Well, apparently they they did that at some point because when they gave them the contract, I think they were there to pitch. Okay. But you know they just haven't been back since, and it's been you know months and months, and there's still no new website. And they need some accountability because yeah, yeah Dave. Yeah, it's like you're gonna have to show up to these meetings, <clears throat> you know, once every month or two, and yeah. actually do the thing. So. so Dave couldn't give them the passwords. I think I left that. I, le- I left that part yeah, out. Yeah, but that's been two fucking months. Bullshit. He couldn't get them the passwords. He couldn't get them the passwords because he was stuck between Chicago and Buffalo. That's and that was like nine hours <laughs> out of a three fucking month period of time. Right. And give now, me a break here. Now he's back, so he's been able to give them the passwords. Now I can tell you that the website is still not working. Meanwhile, ClarkCountyRepublicans.org is getting better. They have a pop-up video. Look, same old shit. Same when's old the, shit. When's the next meeting? September 17th. Yep, don't even have that updated. No, and it's but, a, yeah, if you go so to ClarkCountyRepublicans.org, Clark County Republicans.org. you will see there's a pop-up video now at the beginning. The damn the site just keeps getting better and better. Yep. Yeah, it's loading. It's um, taking a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's rad. Uh, I don't know what the video is, but it's not playing. Oh, it just says Clark County Republicans, your source for uh, it's too small. Yeah, the Republican Guide to Clark County. It's, uh, okay, it uh, did, it's weird. Didn't, yeah. didn't quite didn't quite operate properly no. on my. Is there a way to make it? Yeah, I, I did it on my phone and it looked really good. Um, so yeah, the, there's got to be some way to hold these guys accountable for you know for something for yeah. sucking. Yeah, I yeah, mean, they, from, they, yeah, they've been horrible. It's been bullshit. Oh, Sarah wants one. Oh, we'll have uh, to make a tweet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, <coughs> I ordered the poster. You saw okay. the you saw the poster, the Trump poster, Trump twenty twenty poster. No, no, I haven't seen uh, it. So on the Trump website, let me let me look it up real quick, and then I'll show it just for the people that are watching uh, on video. This Trump twenty twenty poster, it's amazing. It looks like comic book art. Oh shit! I'm gonna like. So I ordered one. It's a local artist that made it. What the hell is it? We can it? probably pull it up here. Yeah, see if you can pull it up there, but I want to show it on the... Yeah, okay, here. It's, it's on the official Trump website. It's a fine art poster. Is it the go. Rocky one? It's this one. It looks like Superman. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So that's that's the poster. Let's see yeah. Tilt that side. That looks it good. Shows up. Nice. So that's a <laughs> local, local artist that drew that. And I ordered one. It came today, and the artist's name is Keith... Tomsick? 
I don't know, T O M C Z Y K. But uh, if you order one and you live here in Las Vegas, he will be nice enough to sign it. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to get mine signed, and then I'm going to frame it, and then I'm going to give it to my cousin, my wife's cousin. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I gotta, I'm arranging to meet him to have it signed by him. You're arranging a meeting with yeah. a stranger. Yeah, a strange artist. <laughs> so he's a friend of Joe McDonald's. Oh, that's cool. So I guess uh, yeah. Joe and, and Michael own a bunch of his art, too. Oh, cool. He does other things besides that. Right. So uh, hopefully he's promoting himself well and getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, he's making selling cool official, art for the Trump. I, I assume he's getting a, you know, a... Nope. No? He just Nothing. donated. Just did no it. No shit, that's did awesome. Did it for the campaign. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, not, he's not getting anything yeah. out of the posters. And, and oh, dude, it, this was so nice. I loved this. I got my notification. Here's the thing that you get when you order stuff from the official Trump website. You get a notification that your shit just left Lafayette, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. named after one of my favorite yeah. people. And and you yeah. know that it's coming from the right place because it says it's coming from Lafayette. Yeah. Uh, the, Mar- the Marquis de Lafayette or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gibert, I call him. Gibert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're cool like you're, that. You're, you're He's got name? like seven names. He I does. Just, I just told him. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched a documentary about him one time, and his wife, he said that he, he was, was an a, interesting guy. Totally, yeah. and and Really young when he got here, too. He was like absolutely. 18 or 20 years old when he was here. Yeah, halfway he between over. royalty and the common people. Yeah. He was kind of a bridge between those two worlds. Mm-hmm. And Yeah, uh, I guess he said that he was a, he told somebody that he was a Christian one time, and his wife said he's a liar. He's a fayetist. <laughs> <laughs> he worships himself. Yeah, and uh, you can, yeah. The, the guy's amazing. But that's where the stuff comes from. So, uh, yeah, it was amazing watching my poster come across the country from, mm-hmm. from Lafayette. Lafayette. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did get the updates. So From Ace Specialties, all mm-hmm. the stuff coming. Yeah. Yep, yep. So that was, I mean, I didn't, I couldn't go to First Friday. I wanted to come over here and do this before the pup right. drops in 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Go Knights. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, we're, uh, I think we're going to probably, we'll, we'll actually wrap this early just so I can go watch the hockey Yeah. Game. Yeah. And get over there and get settled back in. Yeah, yeah. So we're winning, right? Have we been winning? Uh, we won f- uh, four to one first game. Okay. It's been awesome. We, uh, we didn't win. We fucking creamed them. Okay. Good. So the first good. game at least. But uh, our uh, our best defenseman Nate Schmidt did oh. get hurt in the first game, Shit. so we're actually starting a rookie defenseman in his place. Nice. Uh, we also lost a couple guys in the preseason. Um, oh shit! Yeah. I'm I'm not an ice ball um, fan myself. Oh, so. I, I I love it. I told uh, you if you brought me to a game, it would be a waste dude. because uh, I would watch the people. Yeah, like I go to concerts. Oh no, I do too. Just, yeah, no, where where my tickets are, uh, sitting directly in front of us. There's these two uh, two two girls, super cute, uh-huh. really really nice, um, but that they, they pregame before every every, every game. So mm. you know they, they have a couple drinks and then they'll go down during like right before the first intermission. They'll have a couple shots and then they go down again, have a couple shots. By the, by the third period, they're a fucking riot. I mean, oh they're God. just all oh, they're all over the place. They're so fu- they're. Yeah. So right. if if the game ever gets boring, all I got to do is look down in front of me because they're you know they're doing crazy shit right there. I might have so. to take you up on that offer then. Yeah. 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 Because if it's excusable to to watch the people, some yeah, it's a uh, I don't know maybe it's overwhelming. It's my autism or something like that. I have to like concentrate on something. Yeah. Something close by. My brother calling me here. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, so. like, get over here. Yeah. Kind of. All right. All right. Well, uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah. So if you want to find us, uh, paapodcast.com. It does successfully redirect to Podbean now. Yes, it does. Um, at paapodcast. Uh, I am at Rob Tyree one I'm at Juggalo Patriot. All right. I'll get that tweet out so everybody can uh, try and get a hat at the uh, next uh, meeting. Sounds good. Take cool. it easy, Daves. All right. Sweet. Did podcast. Did. We did. We uh, dude, I took an extra day off to go see... Joker? Joker didn't come out last week like I thought it did. Oh, shit. So my wife bought tickets for last night mm-hmm. instead on accident okay. when she bought the tickets. So I was like, oh, all shit. right, so I'll take Thursday night off. So Thursday after she got off of school, um, she blew a tire coming home. Oh, God. And managed to get off at Cheyenne and 95 and park there at the, the Walmart parking lot. Mm-hmm. So I went over... Tried to change it, the spare wouldn't come off as, as per usual. So we called the insurance company and had them come get it. I took the kids home, came back. Well, it's actually a cover, Whiskey and Lemon. Is it? Yeah. David Allen John Co. I knew I knew that song. Oh, yeah. They're uh, David Allen Coe's backup band for a while, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they probably they sense. probably were involved with that. Or Railroad. <clears throat> their version of it, since that's what we do. So, yeah, we went to go see Joker. Um, amazing movie, dude. Was it? 
Yeah, I've heard. I've heard his performance is just fucking. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know about the movie. Like, you gotta. There's a lot going on where you gotta figure out what's real and what's in his head. But Joaquin is. Uh, you can tell that. I mean, he's a special, special boy. It's right. All right. But he, uh, yeah, he Joaquin brought it for sure. I, I imagine he'll get an Oscar. Let's see here. Let me figure out this tweet here while we're still on. Ah, shit. I gotta try real quick. This out. The time is good. Oh, man. All right, let me figure out this PAA podcast tweet. What looks good? Oh, you gotta ask the dude first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me not do that then. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta ask well. Yeah. That's a good idea. Hey, everybody, for a free hat. No. no. I don't want to update Flash because you're just trying to install a virus on your shit. It's the one problem with this fucking website is they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. They pop. And then you think you're clicking on the thing to get your file yeah. and it's not. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn this off then. Cool. Thanks for watching.